painting peeps and welcome it's kathleen from cause creations welcome to the no bra zone guys i'm always happy when you're here we're gonna do some painting today we are working on a gallery wrapped 15 by 30 inch canvas i love this canvas but i think i say that about most canvases I love the way they smell when I pull the plastic off. That beautiful kind of cedary smell, which is really, really nice. I wanted to answer a couple of questions before I get rocking and rolling here. Um, a couple of people have recently asked me, how do you store your paints, Kathleen, if I have leftovers? And I always have leftovers because I always make extras. Because if you know me, Sometimes I do a ring pour, then I'll do another ring pour on top, and I don't want to stop midway through my creative process to go mix more paint. So I almost always have some left over, and that's okay. I buy these little plastic Dixie cups with the lids. I believe they're uh, five or six ounce cups, and they have the plastic lids, and I've been using the same ones for a long, long time. And I keep them on a Lazy Susan next to me where I mix my paints up. And before I start mixing paints, I look on that Lazy Susan and I spin it around and I grab any of the paint colors that um, I want to use in my pour. Now, another person asked me, why do I add my mix pour to my paints after I've added my regular pouring medium, which is Floetrol 50% and 50% Golden GAC 800. Um, I do that because when I'm storing my paints, I know that almost all of them are my regular pouring medium, which is 50% Floetrol and 50% Golden GAC 800. I add the mix pour in later because I can slowly stir it in a half a tablespoon at a time to thicken up my paints. Um, I love this stuff, guys. I keep it in a little squeeze bottle right next to me. Now, something you all need to understand, I'm not affiliated with Mixed Pour. I'm not affiliated with Golden Paints, Amsterdam Paints, Deco Art Paints. If I tell you about it, it's because I like it. It's because I'm digging on it, not because I get uh, anything from them. Um, I support the mixed pour ladies because they are artists as well. They came up with this stuff just for us and it works for me. I love it. I use it for my ring pours, my cloud pours, anything where I need a little bit of a thicker paint. So that's how I store my paints. That's how I mix with my pouring medium. Let's get talking about what we're doing today. Our background today is going to be black. We have Artist Loft Flow Acrylics in the black. It is mixed with my pouring medium, 50% Floetrol, 50% Golden GAC 800. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a swipey thing, maybe a flip cuppy thing. I don't know. I haven't decided. I have been working on some commission pieces and some collaborations with some talented new artists. And today I came down to paint just for me, um, which is the best kind of painting to do most of the time. So um, my paints are kind of thin because we're gonna be doing a swipe, 50% Floetrol, 50% Golden GAC 800 and Artist Loft Flow Acrylics in Black. That is what our base coat is. Our swiping colors today are yummy. They're my earth tones, they're my jam. It's what I do when I paint for me. Let's talk about this. This cup right here is Amsterdam Acrylics and that is, I can't see it, it's a black. It's an ivory black, I think. It's very, very hard to say. Now, this paint and this paint alone is mixed strictly with Floetrol because I hear if you mix the Amsterdam paints with just Floetrol, it gives you some nice lacing effects, which is what I'm hoping for today in this painting. This yummy color, this goodness, this perfection is golden fluid acrylics in the iridescent copper, one of my favorite paints of all 
time. Absolute shimmery, coppery, creamy goodness. Look at that. That's perfection in my eyes, guys. <laughs> That's perfection. Another wonderful paint is Golden Fluids in the iridescent bronze. And this right here, guys, I got this in the mail uh, the other day um, from Color Art. This is the Prism Pour, one of Leslie's new colors. This is called Golden Honey. A little messy there on the bottom. But Leslie Olmsted, who creates these paints, you've heard me speak of her before. Leslie, you rock my world. These are really, really beautiful paints. Now, the instructions say not to use a paint extender with these paints because it can compromise the color a little bit. So this gold, and I don't need a lot of it, is mixed strictly with water. So we will see how that works, but just take a look at that, guys. That is beautiful. Color art, guys. I'll post the link in the description box. You need to check her prism pour out as well as her pigment colors. They are magnificent, and she works very hard to bring us all that beauty in a cup. So we're going to be doing a swipe today. I got my handy dandy paper towels and my squeeze bottle, which I squeeze along the bottom inch of the paper towel to dampen it up. We also have our Tracy Reed swiping tools, guys. Go over to Tracy Reed or on Etsy. These tools are easy to clean. They're very, very nice. And she's actually making some thinner ones for me for more delicate swipes. Tracy Reed on Etsy or go to her Facebook page and read shout to her. She's a sweetie and a very talented artist. What else? I think that's it, guys. I'm ready to put some music on to dance around a little bit. And uh, I'm going to put some tunes on for you that I hope uh, make you tap your feet. Glad you're here, guys. Let's get busy. Don't answer the phone. Spending the days on my own. Then repeat this for weeks to come. I don't care what I miss. Cause my life is dismissed I keep searching for my bliss It took days to finally start writing songs But now it's begun I go oh, 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 oh I go oh, 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 I sing along 
sabido 